Greetings, comrades, and welcome to our brand new playthrough of Warhammer 3 Total War. We have a new rig and a new faction we're going to be starting our playthrough with today. So I don't want to get too bogged down, but obviously the world has drastically changed since we last convened, and I'm not exactly how is the most family-friendly way of putting this. Uh, I'm having a great deal of difficulty getting it up for a Kitslav playthrough. In all seriousness though, what we're witnessing with the Russian invasion of Ukraine is absolutely horrifying and I am shocked that we're seeing something like this so quickly. I thought it was going to be a long time before we saw a war like this reemerge in our world, but here we are. As I said though, I don't want to get too bogged down in that. I wrote an extensive statement and if you'd like to hear more about my thoughts and what I'm changing in regards to the channel, give that a read. And I'll just end by saying that my heart and soul goes out to everybody fighting and suffering right now and I genuinely hope from the bottom of my heart that Ukraine kicks their fucking asses. So without further ado, let's launch into our next faction. And I've been listening to what a lot of you have been saying. And originally, I was actually going to play as Nurgle. But a lot of people mentioned that he has a weird play style. Like, it's kind of slow when plotting. And a lot of people have been playing him. So maybe he's not the best for uh, entertaining playthrough. So thinking about it, I thought long and hard. I was like, you know what? We may as well go from one human empire to another. So I ended up landing on Grand Cathay. And a commenter brought up some interesting points about them. They're kind of underrated. Not a lot of people are really looking at them right now. And they've got some very cool and powerful mechanics. Uh, particularly their lords, I think, are some of the best lords in the game. Obviously, we have to replace one waifu with another. So we're going to go with Mao Ying. Plus, what I really like about her starting position is that she starts on the Grand Bastion. And I really like the idea of kind of defending this great bastion of civilization against the onslaughts of chaos. So I find that kind of campaign very compelling. Grand Cathay. A vast empire to the east, ruled by powerful creatures, dragons, who can inhabit human form. You are gravely mistaken. We have no interest in a mere god's power. No interest in power to use against the forces of chaos? I am Yao Yi, the storm dragon, older than the gods themselves. You are here for a greater purpose. This map shows the energy of all things. There should be harmony, but the world is unbalanced. My younger sister, Shenzhou, bringer of light and hope. She ventured beyond the Norskan mountains, but was lost. Without her, Without her light, darkness prevails, and our family has no comfort. Though I feel your loss, the Tome of Fates provides no insight to your sister's whereabouts. Ursa knows he witnessed her fate. Then why does he not tell you, Iron Dragon? There is mistrust between dragons and gods. If we save Ursen, he will tell us how to find Shen Tzu. Let me serve you, mighty dragons. I can reach Ursen, lead you to him before it's too late, for one drop of his blood. Your destiny is to guide us. The armies of Cathay must breach the Maelstrom and march into chaos. Balance will be restored to the world when Shenzhou is returned to you. Our 
Our goal is clear. To find the lost sister, we must hear the God Bear's testament before he passes into myth. I am the anointed guardian of the Great Bastion. Any breach brings great dishonor upon me. So prove your worth, mortal. Yes, Great Matriarch. There is indeed a rupture in the Great Bastion. The forces of Tinch invade through the ruins of the Snake Gate and have taken the Terracotta Graveyard. Further along, the Bastion remains under threat from the Changer's forces, or, as you know him, the dread power Qian Chi. Yet, despite the enemy assaults, there remain brave defenders ever loyal to you. Bolster them, and they will gladly confederate with a revered dragon. You will need such allies, for it is on the other side of the wall where the threat is strongest. The eternal siege continues, for the dark powers are never sated. And there, the orchestrator of this woe, Kairos Fateweaver. Face this demonic oracle, lest he bring down the Bastion. Fate Weaver is insidious, and the invasion is only part of his plan. Rebellion festers in Nanyang's minds under the Changer's malign influence. Punishment must be swift to reinforce your authority. Before we can hope to take the fight into the Chaos Realms themselves, we must bring harmony back to Grand Cathay. There is much to do. I yearn for my All right. So, Grand Cafe, a Chinese analog civilization. They do have some interesting mechanics. The main thing is their yin and yang mechanic. So, you want to make sure that your buildings are balanced between giving off one of these two energies, although some of them are neutral. Like the clay pit. Is it yin? Is it yang? I don't know. It's just a fucking clay pit. Anyway. I usually just auto resolve these battles. Some people always play them. Not my jam. Lots of crap spamming at me. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, I have a strategy I'm trying to figure out with these guys, basically. It's kind of like a pike and shot strategy where you have pikemen behind your. These are like, basically, they're kind of like shotgunners almost. So the shotgunners stand in front and try and blow them away. And then as they come in. Shotgunners retreat and the pipes hold them at bay. So that's kind of what I've been trying to do a with these guys. And it's Let's been going to line. moderate success. Ah, the good old caravan dispatch. Nice the thing about the caravan is that you can get lots and lots of money, I feel like. So, uh, blah blah blah. So basically, we just decide a point. I'm gonna go right here for now, just a quick and easy one. Dispatch him. And off it goes, and it'll get us some money. I guess I could build a couple more if I really wanted to, but it's not a big deal. We'll fight this battle on the map, and maybe I can show off some of what I mean in terms of my pike and shot warriors. So I'm going to deploy my forces into two groups here. Let's take a good look at them. So we have our iron hail gunners, although they're, I'm going to put them in front. Dragon crossbows! Because, as you can see, they have a pretty short range, right? Not very, not, <laughs> not a whole ton of range. So they're basically there to draw them in, and then uh, once they do enough damage, the melee troops can come in and finish the job. So of course we have the Sky Junk, which is one bizarre looking machine, but you have kind of snipers here that rain down damage on the enemy. Anyway, we gotta take these rebels out. Goddamn rebel scum. I love the look of Cathay cities though. The cities look amazing. They just give me like great like they look even better than they did in like Three Kingdoms. They really give me almost like Shogun vibes. They actually remind me more of like a, a Shogun Total War settlement than a Three Kingdoms settlement. By the way, Three Kingdoms was actually a really, really great Total War game. We missed we missed that one, boys. Uh, and I'm sorry about that, but 
phenomenal. I think, yeah, one of their best outings in a while, for sure. Particularly for a historical outing. Great. Though I know not everybody feels that way, but especially when it came, comes to diplomacy, it's just so nice to have actual diplomacy. Let's see if these uh, Iron Hail Gunners can give them a what for. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, those rebel peasants are not going to last long at this rate. This one guy. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, another guy just kind of straggling. What are they just doing? They're just like running right in front of my, of my guns. Oh, are, are they charging? Might be a little late for that. Oh no, they're running. That makes more sense. Winning decisively? I don't think so. So yeah, she could just, as a dragon, melt all these. Like, Jake Crossbow, I mean, they're not, like, the best units, but I don't have very good units right now, so they could take on a lot of the units like that, you know? I like that now uh, ranged units will still fight when they're in melee, like, people who aren't in the fight, right, like these girls over here, will still actually take shots. And... Finally. settlement right out here. It's a pretty cool settlement right in the middle of a bunch of bones. Gotta make sure there's no chaos breaking through anywhere. You always gotta watch out for them. You know, slippery little bastards. Oh, well, we're coming. We're coming. Can I... If I don't lose any units on, on the cards here, usually I just auto-resolve. For the reason why I like to keep my casualties up, so there will always be replenishing. Perfect. First province secured. Took out those goddamn rebels. Rebel lords of Nanyang. Not anymore, they're not. Ooh, generation. I always also like healing spells too. In battle, I always appreciate healing spells. Oh, I'm still at war with somebody to the south. Oh shit. I was not expecting all these Norsicans to come out of nowhere. So, well anyway, let's fight them on the map here. Uh, one of the things I love about Warhammer 3 is the new settlement defenses. So I don't have a lot of defenses here, but we're hoping, I'm hoping that I can just hold these ramps. So I got one det uh, detachment coming here, and I got another Show detachment over here. Fighting force greater than ours. charging this way. I think we're gonna hold the line here. I'm worried about this one though. they're able to take pot shots now. And here comes the second army. Oh, crap, they've broken through. Whatever is required. Ah fuck. Okay, when that happens. Unleashed! Attack in unison! 
The, our towers can actually shoot them. Oh well, actually never mind, he'll be fine. Come on, big tower, scare him away. Okay, fought him back on that end. They still keep coming. Ah, uh, Char Turbine! Retreat! Withdraw! It's bold. I will go. No, don't retreat. Come to retreat. Horseman! Win! Run away, run away, run away, scary lord! The Celestial Faithful! Oh my god. <laughs> This one last guy, it's just... He's clinging on desperately. So close. Well, that's annoying. Oh, they had very few left. Oh, shit, assholes. I just raised it. I don't need the money. I'll take the selfless leader. Wow. This has got some good shit there. The defensive parameter expands. I have, I mean, I got enough to defend that until I get my siege crew here. Get a storm dragon to defend ourselves. Meowing. Uh, take this one regiment of spearmen to. Save us. Oh no, please. Okay, good. Oof. I did. Want her to be able to recruit, uh, recruit some of her casualties. I guess I could always go like this, eh? Just go. The bastion can never be breached. To fight for me is an honor. Do we have to regain some more losses? No, they're not. Who are these guys? Oh shit, we're just getting incursions, aren't we? Favored daughter. I will make my father proud. Might of the storm. Okay, won't lose anybody. The Emperor loves me. The evil must be kept in check. Go in there and gain some more troops back. We can continue to struggle forward. Who are these? Okay, they're a rebel faction to the south here. We'll have to take them out eventually. But I think we should try and regain the snake gate first. Warden of the Great Bastion. Trusted allies. What oh yeah, that's right. We have uh, friends here. Thank you. I will take your trade agreement. The Emperor's chosen daughter. Do not displease me. Urgency is our what we have to the mines so she can defend it. Are, it's not great, but hopefully he can hold the line. I 
see what they build. Some defenses there. Just because I don't want anyone else being able to come over here and take it. No, I need more Yang. I'll take the growth. The Celestial Empire ever improves. The city of smoke is poised to lend you. Yeah, they're just giving me money for doing nothing. It's always nice of them. Box of delights. Inhale the contents myself. Add it to the water supply. Execute the alchemist. Let's add it to the water supply. That'll make everybody happy. Anyway, let's take out this new chair. I love his little uh, lords, though. Like these weird, angry bird mutant looking things. Beautiful. Shit, he's got a full army. We got yet more chaos hordes marching towards our capital. I'm really hoping to plug that snake gate as fast as I can. I'm gonna get healing. Always like healing. Get more war horse. Why not? But I mean, our army is nice and well supplied. Okay, well, they're gonna just Enemies fall back. Where, where, where are they attacking? Right there. Holy shit! Storm Dragon. God, I gotta get rid of these guys somehow. Nice. Okay, let's fight this one on the map. The Storm Dragon will lead you to victory. <laughs> this is my vow. Man, we are chugging you in on the zoo computer. Even my computer, they go around. It's just all the fog and the water and everything like that. Oh no, our wizard is almost dead. I mean, in fact, he might die. I would suck to lose him. I don't want to lose him, but I might. Unless I can maybe save him? i try. No, he gone. That sucks. Okay, it's over. I'm a little bummed about losing that hero. Oh, I don't need to chase them because they're on uh, forced march. Oh, shit. Well. Where did he go? He went going the hell over here. All right, so I'm gonna defend the south here, or with I'm gonna leave the south. Hope that it can defend itself. Put up some defensive emplacements here. I've already got some stockades, and I gotta close that gate. It is just a festering a wound. It's killing our people slowly. So we're gonna have to go up there and take care of it. Merge some of these together. But a speck. Wow. So that was pretty good. mean. Well, my brother is here. Wow. Okay. We shall defend Catholic. <laughs> relations with the blood guzzlers. Yeah, I don't really need to increase diplomatic relations with the blood guzzlers. Massacred all those chaos guys, but still. Now the question is, do I want to risk trying to close it right now? Move up. Now I'm gonna see if I can see any. You know nothing. I can just see him. Warden yes, they the are. Great the I just gotta hold it for one turn, just one turn, and we can restore the bounce to the land. Door. 
I'm gonna give her gunners a little bit the of a boost. Defense requires it. Get that increased casualty replacement rate. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's my uh, my caravan. We I'm sorry, you. sorry, buddy. That's what happens when you're on a caravan. You just sometimes you get ambushed and killed. You know, it's the way of the beast. Oh, that was bastard. The Those devious defender. little Ready sons of bitches. No, we are going to fight him on the battle and take care of him the good old fashioned way. This son of a bitch really pissed me off by besieging this settlement. Alright, so we're just gonna go right in here. And I'm hoping that I'll be you able to get them to come orders. over. Yeah, they will. You know your positions. You know what you have to do. Well, that was uh, inspiring. Oh, victory is within our grasp. It says. Sometimes I don't think that auto resolve takes into the fact, takes into account the fact that you can turn your lord into a super powerful dragon. Which, especially in the early game, is able to decimate pretty much any level one lord. We are I love gunpowder factions in Warhammer. I they're my favorite for sure. Any faction, pretty much, that has the ability to have gunpowder, I'm a fan of. Oh, well, you're disgracing them. I'm, I'm assuming that's the Norse that just dealt with that. Man, this sky junk is just thick. Give it to him. Celestial intervention, eh? Sure, why not? You never know when you'll need a celestial intervention. Jesus. I want to replace them anyway, so. We must break this space. Erect unbreakable defenses. <sighs> when Miao Ying asks. Oh, I can't replace them right now. There we go. Nice. We got the bastion threat down and nothing. Unfortunately, we still have this guy roaming around. But provided we can, the minds of Nan Ying can cling on for one more turn, I'll be able to finish my fortress there. And look at that. That's a pretty good garrison right there. That's a pretty powerful garrison. It's going to be tough the for them, that army down. at least, to overcome it. Just now, hopefully, defending. here comes Sneech. Hmm, speaking of which, where is his main army? Sorry. Okay, I'm going to build a defense. What do we got here? Plus growth and casualty rate. Ammunition. Upkeep local armies. These are all good. I think I'll give them the casualty the punishment. Chosen daughter. And growth. Because then I can build this up faster. Ooh, Terran caught a sentinel at level 4. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to move her. Let's go see the frogs. Yeah. Frog. 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 Yeah. Here he comes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.